What we're going to be talking about is sales management. Now look, it, and I love sales management. We, we train sales manager. I was a sales manager for, for many, many years. And you want to know something, when, uh, when, uh, it happens to be my favorite three hours of the month when we're training sales leaders, just because it's a great opportunity to, to talk and strategize and issue process. I believe that in the traditional world, because I was there, I, I walked in those shoes. Sales leadership in a traditional sense is more of a, tends to be more of a supervisory role. We, we tend to uh, manage numbers and, and, and it's very reactive. Uh, I, I, folks, look, I, I don't think I was a very good sales manager. Thank goodness for Sandler, it taught me to look at it so differently. And if we want to be a sales multiplier, we got to look at the management role differently. And that's what this is going to be about. I want to go to this, uh, this Pareto principle rule. Um, you've heard it all before, 80% of the business comes from 20% of the customers. That's not what the rule says. The rule actually is 80% of effects come from 20% of the causes. So you know what I'm going to do? I am going to use that principle to talk about how salespeople, let's talk about them first, how they use their time. It looks something like this. 80% of the, of, of the time salespeople spend working will only produce 20% of the results. 20% of their time that they work produces 80% of the results. It doesn't sound very productive. What are they doing in the 80%? Well, I think because human nature tends to dictate what we do so often is that we are doing reactive work. We're responding, not creating. We are, we are just doing things based on stimuluses that come in rather than being the creators and the entrepreneurs that salespeople really are. Uh, perhaps you know this buzzword. Uh, in, in, in Sandler, it's called the trouble line. It's the line that divides pay time activity from the non-pay time activity. If you haven't heard it, it's a great one. But this is what it looks like. If we're looking at a sales professional, what do you think the percentage on the average salesperson spends on the right side of the trouble line? You'd be amazed at how small the actual number is. Because we tend to, again, react and respond to the environment rather than producing and creating the opportunities that the business is asking us to do. This is on the sales professional side. If I were to chart this against the accounts and the business types that are out there, it might look like this. Here's what you see. You see everything on the left. Look, there could be high volume there. The core accounts are a classic example of this. You know those businesses that pretty much just give you all the businesses? And our salespeople tend to camp out there. Why? Because it's easy. They can just stay there all day, order take all day, and it feels good to get paid commission. And, and you know what? Don't, don't bug them because at least they got that one account to bring in all the business. But there's not much growth there. And if a sales manager is charged to multiply the business, it's not going to happen on the left side of this chart. The marginal accounts where there's low volume and, and low growth potential, I mean, salespeople will spend all kinds of time there because there's so many of them. You know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, all these people are calling in. And so you start working with those marginal accounts. You might even get some wins, which gives us that, that excitement that salespeople love, but it's not skyline producing. And so we find ourselves being challenged to grow. Here's what I want to do now. What about you sales leaders? What would this look like for the sales leader? Because look, I think the tasking for a sales leader is not the same as a sales professional. And so if that were the case, I could go right back to the Pareto principle and say that most traditional sales leaders will spend 80% of their time producing 20% of the results. And only 20% of the things that they do actually produce the 80%. And now I'm asking, what are we doing? 